Hi, I'm Miles Roberts from Chorley Group EV, and today we're going to take a bit of a test drive, do a bit of a road trip in this, the new Nissan Leaf E Plus Tecna. Nissan claims a range of over 200 miles for this car. Uh, we're going to test that out by going to Whitby uh, on the northeast coast. Uh, our aim is to get there and back on a single charge. Uh, it's just over 100 miles away from uh, Burnley, so it'd be a good test for us. It's a very cold day today, but sunny, so hopefully we'll get some nice shots. Uh, we've charged it to 100% here. Let's go see how we do. So what has Nissan changed for this, the Tecna E Plus model? Well, the biggest change, and the one that we're testing today, is the battery. So the previous Nissan Leaf had a 40 kilowatt hour battery. This one's got a 62 kilowatt hour battery, giving a range. They claim around 225 miles of range on a single charge. Um, now that will vary depending on temperature, weather, road type, etc. But we're going to give it a good test today. It's 110 miles from Burnley to Whitby, so let's see how that stacks up. Um, and then uh, externally they've changed a couple of things, so um, there isn't much in the way of badging for E+. It says E+, on the uh, cover for the rapid charge socket, and there's a thin blue strip which runs along the underneath the front bumper, which just stand, makes the car stand out slightly as being a different model. Um, the suspension's been completely changed though. This bigger battery, this um, it's just over 50% bigger in capacity, it's 25% uh, physically larger. That has to be accommodated, so they've upgraded the suspension. The car sits only about 10 millimetres higher just to accommodate the, uh, the lowest lung battery pack. Um, other changes that have been made for the model year 2020 year, uh, we've got um, cornering lights now on the front, uh, which activate as your uh, headlights are on and come and light the corner on the, as you turn the steering wheel. Um, we've got a couple of extra USBs at the back of the centre console here for rear passengers to charge their devices. Um, but apart from that, it's much as it was last year with the 40 kilowatt Leaf. So we've still got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay built into this sat-nav sat screen. Um, everything else is very familiar. We've got heat on the Tecna spec here. We've got a Bose sound system uh, with seven speakers. We've got um, the e-pedal functions. So that means that we can um, accelerate and brake basically just using the one pedal. I've got that turned off for today, though. I find that's very useful in town. Um, on a longer journey like this, I prefer to just drive it uh, as a normal automatic, uh, using the two pedals. Um, we've still got Pro Pilot on this, uh, so that's the lane keep assist and uh, speed adjusting cruise control. Um, heated steering wheel, heated seats as I say, so we've got a lot of spec. This is the top spec uh, Nissan Leaf. Um, the main test for today is let's see how far we can get in it. So the sat has decided to take us up over Sutton Bank, which is uh, great because it gives us an example to show off how the uh, instant torque of the electric motors works great. Um, we're currently crawling behind a HGV though that's uh, going to have to take his time. Now Sutton Bank has got a 25% in, uh, incline, it's actually one of the steepest A roads in Great Britain. Um, it's got 300 foot-pounds of torque which is um, similar to a 3.5 litre V6 engine. It's also, um, this 62 kilowatt leaf has got more power than the 40 kilowatt uh, model, so it's got a 160 kilowatt motor, uh, which means peak power is 160 kilowatts, that's about 213 horsepower. And that's available pretty much as soon as you stamp on the accelerator, so uh, it's really, really good instant power. Great for knowing when you want to overtake a, a tractor on a quiet country lane or just, you know, bombing along the motorway, whatever you want to do, it's got plenty of power for that sort of thing. So we've made it to Whitby, um, we managed to make it just on 5 to 1, so I met that lunch time. So uh, me and Liam I think we deserved some fish and chips, best fish and chips in the country of course come from Whitby, that's any excuse I can use to get here. Um, 107 miles we've driven from Burnley, uh, we've used 52% of the battery, so just over half to do over 100 miles, uh, which is uh, pretty damn good I think for, uh, for winter when it's cold temperatures, uh, it's only hit sort of like 5 degrees today, although it's sunny it's been very cold. Um, so typically electric cars get about 20% better range in the summer so I'm sure uh, come warmer weather we'll be able to see 250 miles out of this on a single charge no problem. Anyway so after, what we're going to do we're going to go get some fish and chips and then we're going to uh, head back and perhaps stop at a rapid charge on the way back and just see how fast this car can charge. Uh, fish and chips twice please bud. Yeah. 
Okay, so having completely gorged myself on fish and chips now, uh, which were excellent, um, we're now leaving Whitby. We're going to head down towards uh, Leeds. There's a new Alpha Power Rapid Charger, which is a 100 kilowatt charge speed. Uh, and I want to see if this uh, new Nissan Leaf can take advantage of that and charge a little bit faster than 50 kilowatts, as was the level with the previous um, Nissan Leaf. The um, cost of charging this, if you're charging this at home, a full charge would cost around six, seven pounds. Um, now, that portion of fish and chips that we had back there was uh, 6.95 each for cotton chips. So, um, what that means is that you know you're you're doing potentially 200 miles of driving for less than the cost of a portion of fish and chips. So that's pretty excellent, I think. Um, we're going to drive now for another hour and 40 minutes. Should be arriving around three o'clock into uh, into Leeds. We're going to test the charger there, and I'll pick up this video then. So we've got back from Whitby, we've got down to Leeds, uh, to this rapid charger which is owned by Alpha Power. Now this charger um, has a capability to go up to 100 kilowatts. So we've plugged the Leaf in now. Uh, it was 12% battery when we first plugged in. We're going to monitor it and see how it charges over the next sort of 15-20 minutes to give you an idea of what it'd be like, how much range you can add in a short period of time using these rapid chargers that are on the motorway. Um, so at the moment we're at uh, just over 48 kilowatts charge rate. Uh, we'll see if that varies at all. It is a cold day today and cold temperature is not good for batteries generally. Um, so 48 kilowatts is fairly respectable, we'll see how it goes. So we've been charging for just less than half an hour. Uh, the battery's up to 50%, which has added about 100 miles of range within a half an hour. So uh, it peaked at 50.7 kilowatts. It's down now currently to about 43. So I'm just going to stop this charge now. And we'll uh, disconnect, we'll get back to Burnley. Um, it's been an interesting day, spending the, car, the day with the car. Uh, we've uh, done 180 miles so far. By the time we get back to Burnley, we'll have done about 230, 240, uh, which is plenty of driving for a daytime. Um, but clearly the car's capable of doing much more than that. So we're back in Burnley now, it's 5 p.m. Uh, we've done 238 miles in total. Uh, so we've been to Whitby, we've been all the way down through past York, down through to Leeds, along the M62, uh, sort of Middleton and then up the M66 and back round to Burnley. So 238 miles in total. We've got uh, about 20% left in the battery here, so we only used 30% of the battery uh, to do the last 60 miles from Leeds, which was all motorway, including going over uh, the summit of the M62, the highest point of the motorway network in the UK. Um, so in winter, at motorway speeds, I say that two miles for every 1%, so about 200 miles total range, is very achievable in this Nissan Leaf. If you'd like to test drive the car yourself and find out how it could work for you as your daily driver, why not get in touch with our branches today? We've got branches in Burnley, Blackpool, Chorley, Preston and Wigan. Thank you.